the <laughs> fact that we've created a name and yeah. we are the three Power Pop Girls. But mm -hmm. Ashley said, welcome to the biggest shoot show in the motherland. Today mm -hmm. we're talking all things that have to do with genetics as well as genomics. If yep. you don't know what that is, don't worry, darling. We have some professionals in the studio to let you know exactly what's going on. Oh, yes, of course. And Elwandi has said, we are going to be joined by very prestigious and well-educated guests that will be informing us and making us understand the topic. Mm. Yes, we are, of course, joined by Dr. Karen Fegan, who is a pediatrician and a medical geneticist. We're also joined by Dr. Vic Vicky Raza mm. Nembawari, who is a researcher and a senior lecturer. And of course, last but not least, we also have Mr. Gabriel Agales, yeah. who is a life science curriculum advisor. Thank you so much for joining us on Studio Today. How are you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> now let's get straight into the discussion. If someone doesn't know what genomics as well as genetics are, mm -hmm. what are they and what are the difference? Uh, great. So genetics is about understanding inheritance. Mm. Um, I look like my dad. I look like my mom. How has that come about? Right. I've got this condition. Mm. Where did it come about? Mm. And genomics is about understanding how genes work mm. um, on a very global level. Mm. Um, the entire, you know, um, uh, genome yeah. and all the genes, how they work and um, how they actually interact together, mm. that's, that's genomics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And perhaps, Dr. Fegan, coming to you, when we speak about the purpose of genomics, what are we talking about? Yeah, I mean, I guess trying to understand our genome, you know, this is our genes and our genetic material make us who we are. They yeah. make us what we are, they make us work how we work, mm. and they're really what we're all about. So understanding genomics is really trying to unpack that mm. in a way that's going to actually help us interact with each other and our environment in a better way. Yeah. And I think that's really what I think genomics is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then obviously sometimes we learn some things in high school and sometimes we don't. And speaking of these things, maybe some people are doing life sciences and they yeah. go, oh, I might have not known that. Mr. Gable, this one is for you. How are we making sure that we're bridging the gap between what stu students rather are learning in high school and what they learn uh, in varsity? Because sometimes it might shift and then you might be confused. Like, oh, yeah. this is not what I actually came to study. Mm. I thought I was doing this, mm. but now I'm doing that. Thanks for the question. That's yeah. a very important question, you know. Because currently, I have, we have this Metro South Education Department mm -hmm. with the University of, the, of Cape Town. Yeah. We have this collaboration. Mm -hmm. where We've been working for the last five years together, kind of bridging the gap between high school yeah. and university. Mm -hmm. You were right when you said um, sometimes learners get from school yeah. to university, they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So with this collaboration, we're trying to expose the learners to what is being covered mm -hmm. at university level. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also bringing those professors into the school mm -hmm and also engaging with the educators, yeah. making the transition from school to university a seamless transition. Oh. Mm. Bearing in mind that we do cover chromosomes and genes yeah. and mm -hmm. genetics yeah. at high school level. Mm. And basically getting them on board, it will be much easier for yeah. the learners when they get to university. Yeah. Most definitely, and I'm sure there are aspiring, you know, um, students and scholars that want to work into the, um, you know, the field of life science and yeah. also not just understanding genomics and genetics better. What can we say is the importance of these two vital, you know, um, genetics and genomics within our bodies? Mm. Um, so when you look at genomics and genetics, I think really um, we try and use our understanding mm -hmm. of, of, of genetics and genomics mm. to actually predict um, is someone is going to get a disease or mm. not, or we can actually try and tailor medication mm. for specific individuals yeah. based on the genetic makeup. Because some people do not respond well to certain drugs, right. um, and um, a, a lot of the times, or a large component of that could be contributed to by the genetics as mm. well as the environment. Yeah. And understanding the genomics bit is really important, yeah. and it also allows us to understand um, infections. You yeah. know how they're evolving, like. COVID virus, yeah. um, how it was mutating, the HIV virus, how it was mutating. Mm. So genetics is really underlies our understanding of how things work because yeah. mm -hmm. DNA is the blueprint of life. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I love that we're touching into health as well because so many people might be like, okay, I didn't know genetics were actually part of uh, solving such important issues like being in the conversation of HIV mm. as well as COVID-19. Uh, now, can we talk about the some of the major uh, four genomics that are out there? Actually, not, let's not say four. I'm sure there's more, but the major one that we all know about yeah. or we should know about I rather. Mean, I guess, you know, there's lots of ways of thinking about this. Mm. So, you know, mm -hmm. if we look 
looking at testing things, we might be testing for something that's causing a problem. Fair mm -hmm. enough, you know. That's what we might call a diagnostic test. Yeah. And maybe we want to find out, like Vicky's alluded to, you know, things that maybe we want to find out if they're going to happen to us in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're making about the predictive test. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about our kids? You know, we know we share our genetic material with our kids. Mm -hmm. So there are different ways of looking at that. And then, of course, there's a host of different techniques. So we can look at the little DNA, you know, letters as they mm -hmm. line up, that blueprint. Yeah. We can look at what it talks to one another. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different ways of thinking about mm -hmm. genetics. Um, it's all really exciting things that is growing rapidly. Yeah. yeah, and touching back now, I think career prospects is also a very important thing that we also need to touch on so that the learners at home, the students that are watching can also know what type of careers can they now study further into. When someone has said, that, okay, now I'm done with high school, now I'm going to apply at UCT, mm. what are some of the different career prospects and fields can they venture into? Um, definitely, I think the career prospects are, are, are enormous. Mm. and. Yeah. Uh, as um, uh, Gabrielle mentioned, we're trying to collaborate yeah. to make these careers that people were not normally aware of mm. uh, accessible to them. Mm. A lot of people just want to do medicine, the, yes. you know, mm. but we're trying to say, look, the whole range, diagnostics, um, actually analyzing the whole genomic component. So what you guys are working in different parts and exactly. doing different things. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's a medical geneticist. Oh, she, she's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she's a pediatrician. Yeah. I'm a researcher. <laughs> I'm a researcher and I develop curriculum yeah. uh, for people and I also try and drive projects that mm. um, you know improve engagement between yeah. the different groups to make learners aware of careers. Yeah. Um, so the careers are vast. If you like statistics, you can and, and programming you yeah. can still do genomics by bioinformatics and mm. genomic you know analysis yeah. uh, diagnostics in the lab um, you can do genetic counseling mm. where you counsel people who've got genetic disorders mm. which is what Karen works she's got a whole team of genetic counselors that she yeah. works with um, in the pediatric uh, mm. medical genetics field as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I feel like time is flying, but I've yeah. learned so much. Yeah. And I really just want to find out if someone wants more information, where can we get a hold of you on mm -hmm. your different platforms? Um, oh, well, I, I'm at UCT Human Genetics, so yeah. we have a website yeah. up on that's available, but I'm afraid we're pretty old school, which is really frustrating. <laughs> so we want Vicky to be on the, on social media, yeah. on, on Facebook pages, mm -hmm. but we do have a, a Twitter handle and a Facebook page as, as Human Genetics UCT. Mm -hmm. um, Vicky, maybe you can expand on that. Yeah. 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 Oh, unfortunately, we don't have time anymore, yeah. but we will put it on our social media platforms yeah. and then everyone who is interested can go to XA Live and yeah. find out all of those. Right now, though, we feel like we need to hear what my girl, Kizzy Keys, is doing, right? Yeah, boo. <laughs> hey, 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 I was waiting for the Kizzy Keys. How are you doing? You know, you are still tuning into the best youth show right here on XA, and we do have a question for you on social media. We are asking you, if you could inherit one physical trait, what would it be? I personally think because I'm a sucker for legs, I would love some slim gym legs, you know, but let us know on social media. We're taking a quick breather, but we'll be back with more of XA after this. Do not go anywhere.